Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the co-prophet of these end times. As I'm sure you probably know by now, there was a tremendous fire at an Orthodox church in New York City on Easter Sunday. And what is amazing is that three other Orthodox churches burned on the exact same day. One in New York City, as I mentioned, this one, two in Australia, and one in Russia. When things like that happen, that is not a coincidence. It was either terrorism, which a lot of people are speculating on, or it was an act of God. I believe it was a sign from Almighty God. And I have been telling you for weeks and months on here of the significance of Pope Francis taking the daily sacrifice away from the prince and that this is the first abomination of desolation of these end times. So let's review the time sequence as I remember it. Seven or eight years ago here on YouTube, I warned that the false prophet would take the daily sacrifice away from the prince during Easter week of 2014. And I specified Palm Sunday. Well, as it had turned out, it occurred eight days later on Easter Monday. Well, what happened? Pope Francis telephoned a woman in Argentina who was married to a divorced man outside the church and told her that she could receive communion. This is against the entire 2,000 year rules of the Catholic Church. This is against what Jesus said, do not give that which is holy to the dogs. St. Paul said, if you eat and drink the body and the blood of our Lord unworthily, you are guilty of the body and the blood of our Lord. This event was very significant and I told you at the time that it was. And what happened three days later? Three days later, Almighty God knocked over this gigantic crucifix. So what is the symbolism of those dates? Well, the crucifix was knocked over on the 24th of Nisan. And three days after, Pope Francis allowed that woman to receive communion. This is a direct fulfillment of Daniel Chapter 10, verse number 3. Let me read that passage for you. I ate no desirable bread, and neither flesh nor wine entered into my mouth. That is the Holy Eucharist that Daniel is prophesying about. That is the daily sacrifice. Neither was I anointed with oil. That refers to Pope Francis. He is an interloper. He is not anointed with oil. He is still a cardinal till the days of three weeks were fulfilled. Now that three weeks is symbolic. In this case, it was three days. Three days after Pope Francis made that phone call, that gigantic statue was tipped over. And we see that in Daniel chapter 10, verse number four. And on the 24th day of the first month, I was by the great river. And this is when Daniel has his vision following the three weeks of fasting. The three weeks when the daily sacrifices take away, taken away from the prince. The 24th day of the first month in 2014 was April 24th when that gigantic crucifix was knocked over. So now let's fast forward two years. April the 21st, 2016. And that pop star prince died. That made headlines around the world. And I told you the significance of that event. That was Almighty God taking the life from the prince. That was the second anniversary of Pope Francis taking the daily sacrifice, that is the life of the Eucharist, away from the Prince of Peace. And a few weeks before that, there was another very significant event. Pope Francis issued his apostolic exhortation, Amoris Laetitia. And he hid a little footnote in that exhortation, footnote number 351, where he formalized what he had done for that woman in Argentina. 
He said there are cases when people in mortal sin can receive the Eucharist. This is a further fulfillment of the abomination of desolation of these end times. This is the first one. And a few days later, the bishops of the Philippines said that they were going to implement it. In fact, on the same day, April the 8th, Bishop Subich of Chicago said anyone could receive communion in his archdiocese. And I have warned you people, you Catholics, you have to pin down your priests and your bishops. Are they going to go along with the Pope? Because if they do, their consecrations will not be valid. The daily sacrifice will indeed be taken away. So that brings us up to the fires on Easter Sunday as far as the Orthodox Church goes. That was May 1st. A lot of people are making note that it's May 1st, a tremendous communist holiday. I think that is significant. It's also significant that that was uh, Easter Sunday in the Orthodox Church. The real significance is that it was the eve of the 24th of Nisan. Three weeks after the Pope and the bishops took the daily sacrifice away from the prince. That is the significance of those fires. In fact, according to the Hebrew, Hebrew calendar, the fires started in the evening. That church was destroyed actually on the 24th of Nisan. That would be May 2nd. And I told you a couple of weeks ago when I did those videos on prints that God was going to give us more warnings. And please keep awake because he is going to give even more warnings until you people in this country and in the world understand the significance of what Pope Francis has done. Until you realize that the most amazing Bible prophecy, which our Lord referred to in the Olivet Discourse, when you see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, then let those who are in the field not go back to take their cloak. The field in these end times is the Roman Catholic Church. Those who flee are the remnant Catholic Church. And I am going to do more programs on these. I can see as necessary. I can see Almighty God is going to keep giving us these tremendous, terrible, and frightening warnings. And if you would like more information about my ministry, visit my thirdeaglemedia.com website.